Yeah, Player T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood, doing it really big. Yeah, I'm getting took to school tonight, baby. I'm getting took to school tonight, and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it having guys from the Nuwabian Nation on the show tonight. Yeah, Hotep and Elder Green. Yeah. Hey, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate that, guys. Now, now, right off the top. I want to get schooled on the meaning of Nuwabian Nation and what's your principal core values. Okay. Um, us being Nuwabians, okay, we are the ancient Egyptians that was prophesied to come back in the last days through DNA. Okay, nothing spooked spiritual about it. Dr. York, our spiritual guide, okay. Dr. Malachi York. Dr. Malachi Z.K. York L. Akron, okay, 33 oh, degrees over, over. Oh, he's doing very well in the, under the conditions that he's in, okay. Um, he has a legal team. Um, he should be getting out any day now, but I'm um, not to get off the subject. Um, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. But um, we're the, um, called the Nuwapian Nation. We're a salvant nation. We're indigenous, okay, and we're here to wake up the, um, our class people here in the hood Okay, showing them how we are the gods and goddesses that was prophesied back in the biblical time. It's not about religion. We're not a religion organization. We are, we're a fraternity and a sorority. Okay, okay, so you're not a religion We're not a religion organization. Okay, yeah, let's get that okay. out the way. Right. I heard about the New Wabi Nation, but I right. didn't know much, and so that just cleared up a right. lot for me mm -hmm. right there. Now, and you say your leader, Dr. Malachi York, what did he stand for? Dr. York is here for the upliftment, upliftment of Africa and all black folks here in America, okay? We're depicted as a racist um, hate group, but we're, we're quite the opposite. We're a love group. We teach our people how to love themselves and how to better themselves, yeah. okay? Everybody know that mainstream society, if you're not walking with them, then they paint you as a, as a negative, okay? Just the way they did Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, Elijah Muhammad, you know, Sheikh Daoud, all them great leaders before Dr. York, either they incarcerated them physically or they character assassinated them, okay? Or they just outright killed them. So they couldn't touch Dr. York, so they falsified charges on him, okay, in um, um, 2002, okay? He was falsely incarcerated, and we've been fighting for his freedom ever since. Yeah. Okay? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now give us a little perspective on your nation, how big of it, how big it was, the its reach and okay. scope. Well, know. we had we had over uh, 473 acres of land in the um, in Georgia, in Putnam how, County. Yeah, how much? 473 acres of land. Wow. We had three lakes. We had livestock. We was doing for ourselves. Okay, Dr. York is a Liberian diplomat. Okay. Um, and he wasn't, he wasn't even supposed, they wasn't even supposed to touch him. But the, we was right there in the middle of KKK land, okay? We was trying to um, build a Egyptian theme park, okay? Dr. York to trace his descendancy all the way back to Egypt. He's a bloodline descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He's also a bloodline descendant of Old York, of Ben York, of the Lewis and Clark expedition. He's traced his descendant, he has paperwork, birth certificates, his whole lineage all the way back to Egypt. Wow. They feared this man. They feared this man worse than Malcolm X or Elijah Muhammad, okay? And they tried to do a Waco on our land, but Dr. York wasn't there. And with the blessings of our Natharu, which, which is our gods or, or our overseers, we, call, we also have our own language. To be a, to be a nation, you got to have your own land, you got to have your own language, and you got to have your own culture. That's what the New Wapian Nation is about. And you're... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're you're telling me that the Nuwabians you know, is tied to the land, uh, the l Nubian land. You were telling Nubia, of Nubia, right, or Nuwabia. Uh huh. It's tied to theirs. Right. Well, well, that's how we get. Um, if um, we you we're not a religious organization, but majority of our people out here is in religion. Right. So what Dr. York did was he took certain tools of religion and placed them in his books and showed them the truth of their religion. Not the white, this is not racism, not the, not the 21st century or the white man's um, 
meaning of, of Christianity or Judaism or Islam, but through a black man's perspective, you know, through, a, through, a, through our own father's perspective. Yeah. He's, a, he's a, um, a, a master linguistic. Dr. York speaks 19 different languages fluently, okay? Oh, wow. He translated the scriptures, the Torah, the Injil, which is the book of Revelations, the book of Songs, um, all these different books. Um, he's translated from the, from the Latin, the Greek, the um, Ashuric, the Syriac, all these different languages where, the, where these original um, tablets was originated from. Man. The Bible came out of, not to get off the subject, the Bible came from a, um, ancient tablets called the Enuma Elish and the Gagmas Epics and the, es the um, Esther Hasis, stone tablets, okay? And the, the, um, the government has some of these tablets in the Library of Congress, okay? And what they did was they took these tablets and mistranslated these tablets into what we call the Bible today. Dr. York retranslated it and, give, and put it in, in the right perspective with him being a um, linguistic of, of different so languages. So you think that's what made him a target of, uh, you know, the forces that be? Exactly. But, but it, was, it was also prophesied. Um, Dr. York, we're, we're not talking spookism. I, I've met the man. I've touched him. I've shook his hand. I've ate with him. I've cried with him. He's, this, he's our personal savior and spiritual guide for this damn time. Every 100 years, every 1,000 years, the, um, the nation, the black folks, is given a teacher or a reformer to guide them back to the straight path. Dr. York just happens to be, for us, the black folks. Okay? Set the record straight. Exactly. We're well, just here to let, set the record well, straight. Let me ask you something, Elder Green, because mm -hmm. you used the words, we had acres of land. What happened? They stole it. They stole our land. Um, and, and falsified charges and incarcerated Dr. York. So they confiscated. We have a hundred million dollar lawsuit against the state of Georgia right now. Is that right? Exactly. We're not going nowhere. They thought that yeah. the, um, Dr. York, he, he's been raising leaders. He said he don't want, he's not raising followers. He's raising, he's raising leaders. Right. So he's been teaching for over 50 years now. So he said that they should have stopped him in 1970, but by then he had planted the seed. Now you got New Wapians, you got gods and goddesses running around all over the world now. Um, preaching right knowledge. Right knowledge, right well, wisdom, and right let me understanding. Ask your question, brother. Why do you think uh, the nation hasn't folded beside the fact that, you know, Dr. York is not prescribing to raise and followers, but instead leaders? Besides that, why do you think, you know, you're still striving? Well, number one, we in the, the number one business in the world. And the number one business in the world but I'm gonna ask you the question, what do you think the number one business in the world is? Export, import. Right. The number one business in the world, as our master teacher taught us, is the information business. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and all we do is write So Skew. what we bring about is right, exact, correct information. We've been, we've been polluted with all the different lies and fairy tales and myths about life that breaks you down and gives you junk DNA, yeah, and it, o <laughs> and, it o and it overrides. I like the, that. The o it overrides the, your natural nature of your ancestors' DNA that's in you. Okay. So we have a reconnection with the supernatural because you're supernatural. Yeah. Now we got to show you how to walk back that journey and the rituals you need to know to become supernatural again. Well, you know, a lot of people attribute that to, you know, walking with the ancestors. Exactly. You know, so how do we translate that into somebody right now? Because I never walk with a dead person. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's, that's what they want you to think. The societies, the powers that be, and the different religions, that's why us as Nuwapians, we don't look upon our deceased in a dead state. Because the last memory you want to have of your mother, your father, your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your brother, your grandmother, your grandparents is them alive. Oh, that's why we don't we don't, we don't you don't put we're not going in the ground. You're going to you're going to cremate us and we're going to go back to the heavens. OK, that's why we don't we don't have funerals. We have memorials. We have balloon ceremonies because your physical is what dies. Your soul lives and lives and lives on. You okay. follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why we don't we don't acknowledge that our aunts. Our ancestors, all you do is when you die or when you cease to exist on this physical plane. I've walked with the mass for over 30 years. I've, I've touched his, the hem of his garb and he's taught me personally. You, you live forever. You're part of the essence of, the, of, of creation. You follow what I'm saying? You're just 
All death is is just a key of, of another door to take you to another um, dimension. Your spirit and your soul lives on. Your mentality lives on. We are a conscious gas. Look, you're, getting, you're opening up doors now. <laughs> we are a conscious gas that's, it, that's um, because if you read the Bible, Adam was created in spirit first. So we all created in spirit. We was in spirit before we became a body or a flesh. Right. So, okay, so all we are is a conscious gas that's housing this body. And once this body is deceased, um, when you ha do your time here on this plane, your body goes back to where it came from, which is the ground, and your spirit and your soul goes back to a higher life, depending on how you lived your life on this plane. And you had acquired mass and land behind a leader in Malachi York, who has been in prison since 2002, and you're fighting for his release, and he's, his release is intimate, you say. Right. He will be vindicated. He will be vindicated. So, so members of his nation, you guys been fighting for him this whole time during his incarceration, and he's known about it. What, you, what has he been communi communicating and saying to you? Well, um, he has he has um, multiple wives, he has sisters and brothers, and only certain people can go see him. But Dr. York, to show you that he's God in flesh, he's still writing books. This is all he does is write books. Okay. Um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, spoke of Dr. York. He said, in, um, um, whoever possessed the knowledge of the lamb or when pamphlets will start coming from the sky, that's who we're supposed to be with. He's the new say. He's not the most high God, first of all. Uh, exactly. But he is a God. Our God concept is different from what religious depicted as. Our God is any person or anything that has control of anybody or anything. That's who my God is. Your first God in your life was your mother. You feel what I'm saying? Because she birthed us. You feel what I'm saying? We're not into that falsehood belief stuff, that faith. We're into faith. We're into what we call right knowledge. Right knowledge is to know. Okay, facts. Right knowledge, right wisdom, and right overstanding. Now, Nuwapu is the science of sound right reasoning. And his followers are the sons and daughters of sound right reasoning. It is important that we express the meaning of words and how we use them so that we are not misinterpreted. We use the word sound as an adjective, meaning having a firm base, unshakable, free from defect, through. We use the word right as an adjective, meaning in accordance with facts, truth, correct, proper, and reasoning is used as a noun, meaning the capabilities of logic, rational, Thoughts and in intelligence, good judgment, sound sense, underlining facts or cause that provide logic sense for a premise or an occurrence. Hence, sound right reasoning is the unshakable facts and logic. Also, Nuwapu is right knowledge, right wisdom, and right understanding. Right knowledge organizes and unifies the mind individually and collectively. If knowledge is not to be confusing, and thereby ineffective, then it must be in sequence. Knowledge received must be in organized sequence in order to put the mind in order and unity. Knowledge is the state or facts of knowing. To know is to have information. Therefore, right knowledge is correct information, which, which can be taught, spoken, or written. Right. right wisdom is knowing how and when to use knowledge. Right overstanding is receipt of knowledge by the mind and is the unity of knowledge and wisdom. Mm. That's what Nuwapu is. Right. Okay? Wow. Okay? And, and this is what Dr. York has come to bring us. For those who are asking themselves this question, simply put, Nuwapu is right knowledge, right wisdom, and right overstanding, which leads to sound right reasoning, the truth, the facts, the ability to know. It is the origin ancient spiritual science of African people the world over. At no other time in our story, not his story, okay, our story, were we blacks or African people in more need of this science as we are today. Nuwapu, the African powers of nature, influenced, and we're going to get back to your, to your ancestor. This is going to lead you to your ancestor. Influence the mind, trains of thought, and culture that produced the kingdom and empire of Egypt, Kush, Mali, Ghana, um, and Seminole. These great and monumental kingdoms are the true roots of Africans in America, West Africa, and beyond. When thoroughly researched and studied, we will find that these kingdoms, the culture they live, 
produce great wealth, health, harmony, abundance, and success for its yeah. people. By returning to our true roots, Nuwapu, African people will once again experience the liberating success of times past. That's what we're here to bring. Okay. Yeah. And it's for everybody. It don't matter if you're black, white, Puerto Rican, Muslim, Christian, or Jew, all eyes on Egypt, the Nuwapian nation, we got something for you. Well, one thing I like about it, because people do get caught up in a religious. Exactly. And, and to say that you're not focusing on religion. Exactly. And it's all about, you know, having right knowledge and then applying that knowledge wisely and then receiving that to be un, uh, overstanding. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's to be commended, man. Right. Now, now tell me, you know, um, what what are you looking to do going forward with your nation? Like, you know, how are you attempting to address? Because, like, take for instance over here, there's a lot of negative shootings and things going sure. on in the community. Sure. Then you had organizations come out a couple of days later. They basically wanted to shut a bar down because mm -hmm. people got shot in right. front of the bar, like five people. Right. And, you know, some people felt like, well, it ain't the bar fault. But, and then some people feel like that negative atmosphere is conducive to right. those things happening, you know. So how can organizations like yours come in the community, be effective at reaching the people and drawing them in and, make, and, and, and being of real tangible benefit to the people? How could that take place? Well, we're, we're in a day and time now where it's about it's about spirituality, okay? If you don't have the knowledge of self to learn to better yourself, okay, you can't help yourself, okay? We're, we're in a day and time now where um, we're, we're going to... And you say knowledge of self, that's basically like the right knowledge. Like, exactly. if you're into a certain thing, you want to have that right body of knowledge to go with that certain thing you're into. Exactly. Okay. But it, it's, it's only going to be... A, I, I don't want to so, sound harsh, but it's, it's only for a chosen few. We're in a day and time now where Mother Earth is a, is a Mother Earth, every 6,000 years, this Earth goes through a cycle, okay? It don't matter if you black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever, everybody is involved in it. Mer you, you can't, if, when Mother Nature says something, it gets done. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't matter if you president or if you if you a reverend or a preacher or whatever you call yourself, when Mother Nature says shut down, sh it, you gonna shut down. Harvey. We're, we're, we're Harvey. in the last day. Harvey. Okay, I don't want to get into to religion, but this is about spirituality. You have to be a truth seeker from the cradle to the grave. You have to want to know certain things. It's a spiritual cycle that we're going through. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a certain lifestyle that we have to live through. If you, you, people have to get in tune with creation, which we are offset. We are, our teacher taught us that we, we are actually out of our minds. <laughs> we're, we're, with, with yeah, their, with, I second that notion. With they're taking us from Africa, and we're, we're out of our natural habitat. So yeah. that's why our people is running muck like, like we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got this caste society that's been on us for 400 years. It was prophesied that Abraham's children was going to live in a land for 400 years that's not their own. That's how that prophecy pertains to black folks. But with the, the year 2000 of the year 1970, if you add, if you add um, uh, 400 years to the year 1600, you get the year what? 2000. Okay. That's how that prophecy pertains to us. Now that the opening of the seventh seal in 1970, all falsehood is going to be destroyed and all truth is going to be made manifest. Oh! So all you got to do is just be a looker, a seeker for of truth. Right. And it, just like the reason that we're here today because we're supposed to be here today. Our ancestors put us together. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? You, your ancestors are not dead. They're just another in another realm watching us trying to give us guidance. So how do you learn? Uh, what, what's a good way to learn from that? To, to read our books. To read the books. To the read these scrolls. Business. Hold some of them up, good brother. Dr. York has written over 1,200 scrolls on any subject that you can think of uh, under the sun, over the sun. Wh wherever you're at in your life, we got a book for you. Okay. If you're in religion, we got religious How books. How can they get in touch with your organization if they want to find out more information about it? We got flyers. I got cards. Um, um, go to, um, if you're on Facebook... Um, All Eyes on Egypt Bookstore, 1739 Holyoke, Euclid Avenue, third floor, East Cleveland. 441, you got one. 441-612-678-510-6102. My name is Elder Green, and this is Brother um, Elder Hotep, okay? My, uh, my Nuwapian name is 
Nasat Ankh Nabab Imhutet Reye. And what does that mean? That means teacher, leader, ever living, master, he who comes in peace in the house of Ray. Player T, that's me. Okay. I want to thank the Nuwabian Nation for coming on board. I want to thank everybody. I want to yeah. thank Brother Hotep over here, Elder Green. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this webcast. If you want to learn more information about the Nuwapu Nation and the language and everything, make sure you visit the site. Make sure you stay down with us. Play a T, that's me, Hollywood in the Hood. Play a T, play a T. can I say Hollywood one more thing? Hollywood in the Hood. Go, go ahead, Elder Green. I'm Play a T, and, and, and this is for everybody, okay? We're already Nubians. Y'all are already Nuwapians. Y'all just don't know it. It's in your DNA. Dr. York is here to bring certain science of religion, of the isms, so, and, and it's, it's going to awaken you. You have a power laying dormant in you. You follow what I'm saying? And all you got to do is just tap into some of these scrolls, and it'll awaken a power in you. You follow what I'm saying? It's, it's back here, and Dr. York is bringing it up here. Oh, all right. Peace and blessings to all. Hollywood in the hood. The Wobbians.